Hello everyone, Cowbunger here, and it is real. Multiverse's official Banana Guard gameplay trailer. Marceline, the Ice King, the Fire Princess, Fiona, Princess Bubblegum, Lumpy Space Princess 2, get her out of here, the uh, Elephant Grandma Lady, screw her. Also, f the lemon guy, I forget his name. Unacceptable! F literally every other Adventure Time character and just every other character in existence because clearly the character who deserved it the most is Banana Guard. Make clearly. I started watching this a little bit uh, at work, but I didn't watch all of it. Uh, you know, when I share my thoughts about this the other day, uh, the main thing that I wanted, if this was actually real, is for the character to be interesting, have an interesting moveset, at the very least. That one's... I, I'm not gonna say it. You can all see. Okay. He's crying, of course. Helicopter, yeah. Well, like the charge. Right? You really like me? He says that he's a joke character. Oh no, and that's it. Oh man. Um, <laughs> I don't want to be mean. I've shared my thoughts a little bit already on the Banana Guard in my other Multiverses video I put out the other day. There's, there's literally nothing here that I think really excites me or anything. I'm really just hoping that this was some kind of bonus. I don't know, that didn't take up too much development time, because otherwise it's like... Ugh, man. I mean, that's a funny taunt. I like that. But other than that, as soon as you get into, like, the moveset here... I really... I'm not seeing anything. Like, this is kind of funny. He's like pumping weights to get bigger and better. I don't know. He's doing a little dance, of course. Um Yeah, there's there's really nothing here. I gotta be honest. I don't think I really like this inclusion all that much. For me, there's definitely like a difference between Banana Guard here and other joke characters in other games. Like let's take for example um, Piranha Plant, because that's the character that is definitely being compared to Banana Guard. Piranha Plant, at the very least, when Piranha Plant was added, they were added to a roster that was already extremely stacked with super iconic characters. When you compare it to this game, there's a lot of iconic characters in this game too, but it still felt like it could use a lot more, that there's a lot more that you could add. Uh, and for this to take priority over those characters feels a little weird um again even above a lot of different adventure time characters that you could have chosen and then i think another joke character that you could compare this to is maybe something like i'm not going to say hugh because hugh is a very specific case of like somebody being highly requested and then getting added in even if they are a joke character grandma gertie had a lot of backlash from some people but to me uh, Grandma Gertie was fine because Grandma Gertie uh, is in a roster full of characters who uh, are all cartoon characters and who could all be kind of like classified as joke characters in a way because they all have a bunch of funny different moves. There's not a lot of cartoons in the Nickelodeon lineup that take themselves super seriously. I'd say the biggest one is like the Avatar shows. And there are a decent amount of Avatar characters, but then other than that, the rest of the characters in that roster could really just be considered joke characters in a way. I definitely think there's not a lot of series picks in the Multiverses cast either. Uh, but this is like, th this definitely feels unusual. This feels like, you know, it doesn't fit at all. And some people are going to like it. For me, I'm feeling very indifferent. Like, okay, I guess I have a new character to play. Whatever. This really doesn't do it for me in any particular way.
It's very weird to me that um, for the relaunch of a game that this is the type of character that we're getting. You would think it'd be all heavy hitters, but nah, I guess not. And like, there was... I didn't watch the episode, but apparently there was an episode based entirely around these banana guards, so... I don't know, maybe it's just a favorite episode among people on the team, so they wanted to add them and whatever. I'm not going to sit here and lecture the devs about who they should add and shouldn't, you know? Like, if they had fun making this character, then sure, whatever, but it's just not for me. That's really all my thoughts. Now, apparently, there's some other things I want to talk about before we go. The number one thing being that, um, let me go back to my video, okay? Hopefully I'm muted. Oh, I got an ad? Nice. Um, but anyway, I'm looking at the character select screen a lot, and I was talking about how, um, oh my god, the ad's in slow-mo. That's really sad. No thanks. I don't need to be a channel member. Let me go to the part where we see the character select screen. Uh, I talked about yesterday how this could be like Johnny Bravo, potentially. That was the character that I was seeing speculated on. But now there's a big rumor slash leak that is more likely, and it is that Jason Voorhees is going to be in the slot instead, which is a huge character, very relevant, and I would think that, yeah, that would be a lot better of a pick than Johnny Bravo, as much as I love Johnny Bravo, I hope he gets in one day, but for the launch of a game, uh, I think Jason is a lot better, because he's just the most iconic horror movie character ever. Although it's kind of weird that they're going to reveal him, I guess, in the middle of May instead of doing something for Halloween. They must have something else planned for Halloween if they're going to add him now. Uh, but still, cool. I'll look forward to seeing what Jason Voorhees has in store, if that really is the character. The only other thing I've got to say before I go is that there's apparently going to be another last character reveal on Monday. So I guess that's when to expect Jason to be revealed. And my god, I'm just like... How am I going to have the time for this man? Because now that I'm a full-time employee, it's like, dude, making videos for this stuff is hard now. Once I'm done editing this video, I'm going to be live streaming Rivals 2. You guys will probably end up seeing that before this video because channel members get videos one day early. So it will probably end up being the live stream in public and then this going public the next day. Uh, but if you want to become a channel member, get videos early, by all means, please do. Please give me money. That would be pretty sweet. And like the video, if you made it this far, if you're feeling the same way I do, if you actually like the character pick, I mean, just let me know. Again, I think the moveset is just pretty generic from what I'm seeing here, so I'm not really excited. Anyway, I'll see you on the next video. They should start ramping up again because all these different games are really uh, starting to get back into the swing of things. Uh, bye. <laughs>